Hello there, Gil here. I want to show some enhancements to the fill effect. So I've got a fill effect on a window frame here. Normally it doesn't look like it does anything. As you put it from 0 to 100, it's just going to fill up that amount. But the power order comes in this value curve. So you could come up here and say, I want to ramp, say, from 0 to 100. And so it'll ramp all the way up throughout the duration of this effect. Now it's repeating when it hits to the end here. Or you could change the value curve to be a ramp up down. So it would go up and come back down. So if you've seen the value curves, you know there's a whole lot of different shapes you can do. So you can make it go up and down twice. Or you can get into some of the logarithmic ones. So let's just make it do a nice little up down so I can show the other features I've had. So by default it's still going to work the same way it was working. But may it so you can increase this band size. When you do that it's actually going to alternate whatever colors you've picked over here. So if I pick three colors it's going to alternate between those three colors. If you it's kind of like the marquee, where if you do a skip, it's going to do a skip between each of the colors. You can make that band size bigger, like a marquee. And then I made it, since it always started at the beginning, I made it so you could do an offset here where you can move the starting point over. And it's either in pixels or you can offset in percentage. So that would be 100%, 50%, 50 50 percent, 50 percent. So if you want to move it over to start at that right edge, 25 percent. So let me make that band size back a little smaller. So you can actually get some interesting effects with this. Let's say I copy this up to uh, a matrix. So you could have a matrix that that's probably going to look better start at the bottom. So you can play around with that and get some interesting things happening on a matrix. And you can also change the direction like before. Oh, I forgot to mention I've got I've got the render style set to single line. If I set it to default, then it would do like that. So let me just put this back. Start it from the right. Make the band size a little smaller. Then add some skip to that. So you can kind of get an idea of some of the things you're going to be able to do with this now. So it's kind of powerful just adding three simple little options in there. Um, but for the for the window frame, I guess that actually, yeah, single line works better for the window frame. If I put it on default, it's just going to go straight across like that. a single line if you want to like go around the window. So if I copy this over to the second window, I actually got this idea from somebody on the forum was trying to produce an effect and I immediately noticed that I could just add these options and be able to do pretty much the same thing he was trying to accomplish. So if I put this back down to here Let's see, what else do I need? I need to start it from the right. And it's not starting in the exact same spot, so I need to offset this guy by, like, say, a pixel. Now they look like the colors are lining up in here. I've actually got a bigger view that'll show that. Okay, so uh, that's checked in for next release, which I guess will be 
41. Actually, 41 might be out, so it might be 42. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy it when you get a chance to check it out. Thanks.